you're saying, and I, I think this is really a pivotal sort of moment of understanding, that there is no gene for aging, that aging is epigenetic. It comes from what happens around the genome. Would that be? It's, yeah, exactly. And, and we used to think that DNA was our destiny. Well, that's not true. When it comes to aging and your chance of dying from certain diseases, it's only 10% is from your parents, genetic. The rest is epigenetic. And epigenome, the epigenome in each cell can be changed. Depends on what you eat, whether you exercise, whether you smoke, uh, and whether you've taken a medicine or a supplement. The epigenome is modifiable, which is why I say we can treat aging. In fact, we can probably reverse aging in the next five to 10 years. And that's why aging should be considered a medical condition that's treatable. I don't think aging is a disease. I think aging is actually a necessity for evolution. I think in every single species, may you be a plant or an animal, that's part of the natural cycle. You will not develop adaptive trait if you didn't die and if you didn't age. This is a fact for all species as far as I'm concerned. Making it longer or shorter, you can ask the butterfly who lives only for one day. Mm. She will tell you it's a beautiful life. Mm. Beautiful, Ali.